Hello, I'm Lovely Coffee, and just in case you're wondering here, and welcome to wherever you are watching here. My actual name is Nick, but of course, sometimes I call myself Lovely Coffee. Never mind all that, but of course, you know pretty much who I am. I'm actually situated here in Haverhill, and of course, we're going to check out some of the reviews of Haverhill, possibly, and uh, I'm going to do some research on that, and of course, let you all know what it is and uh, of course for those people who rate it as the worst town of suffolk well i've got news for you there are some stuff that i need to show you which of course you may not have spotted so let's have a look at the clips Well, for those people not familiar with Havel, you might actually be disappointed with the emptiness of the town. Forget about that. Just have a look at what we've got to offer. I mean by what has the town got to offer? Well, of course, there's always something that we're going to spot. Start with these flowers here, if you're a flower watcher. Or if you like your Jubilee celebrations, if you're a fan of the Jubilee and that kind of thing, then of course we still have it here in Hayville. But the flags are blowing very fast in the wind. If you are artistic or you like art in particular, then down here at the High Street here, just outside or on this actual closed down shop, which used to be Dorothy Perkins, then this is what you'll see here loads of paintings here which have been here since the lockdown times in 2019 to 2020 to 2021 put here by the Havehill Town Council working with local artists to brighten up the town centre how nice is that and here's some more You can see there the Dorothy Perkins sign is still up here and the Burton's what it used to be as a clothes shop here. Shame there's no shop in place but of course they have replaced it with artistic pictures all over the town. Look there's some here and here and here just outside a disused HSBC bank that's where the old cash machine would have been and next to it would have been the NatWest bank later became Hatchet Griffey as you can see there Hatchet Griffey for those people who don't complain about the town they'll be delighted to know that there is sunshine here shining down on Hayville town Normally down here, there's a burger stall. Andy, very great guy, gives us a lot of religious magazines to read out on air. How fantastic is that? Not only that you have a betting shop, but of course you have spec savers there. That's quite handy, actually, if you need to have a free eye test, if you are eligible for one. If not, you have to pay for one, obviously. You've got your Hughes video... TV and audio just there and you've got your Lloyds Bank free cash machines over here and you've got your Chapman and Son just here if you want to buy washing machines I think they used to do bikes I'm not quite sure if they do it now but yeah definitely electronic or electrical goods And a what's on in Hayville. It's nice to have that. Some towns have it and some towns don't have this kind of thing. And uh, Hayville in the park, look at that. Of course, you can see when the dates are. 19th of August, 20th of August and 21st of August. Live performances from 15 plus. Local musicians and groups, craft activities, street food and bar. There you go, and the details are there, Havel in the park. And those other adverts as well. The 60s, eh? 
at the art centre, which is in the other direction of the town. I wonder how many people spot these on the top of these shops down in the high street. In particular, Costa. It might be expensive to go in there and you might see lovely coffee in there on the odd occasion. Of course, not always behind the camera as I am today. But in this direction, you've got all sorts of things. You've got Barclays Bank down there. Um, it's not really that important to know, but of course, it's key to know it's still currently open at the moment. And, you know, subject to change, obviously, um, if it doesn't get uses of people going in there. But towards the end of the town, you've got uh, Route 66, which is an American restaurant just down there. You've got the Europe... Um, kind of supermarket down there and you've got Greg's down there on to the right heading towards that way and Iceland you can see the sign of just there as well if we zoom in you'll be able to see the spire of the old independent church and you've got the Royal Exchange just down the end of the street and before that you've got Benny's barbecue definitely worth checking out and Stella coffee shop or coffee house actually it's named and you've got Papillon Pizza as well. And most importantly, the Town Hall, which you can't see in the view at the moment. We'll go down there on another video. It's not often I talk about car parks, but this one here in the background is actually a car park in the middle of a high street. Of course, I don't know what the 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. stands for, that bit there at the top. I presume no parking, but of course, let me know in the comments what you think that might be and that's why I asked people to comment on it so that I can remember for next time we all are here to learn so parking there when it says that obviously it means parking the cars are like these and of course it's 8 till 10 a.m. and 4 till 6 p.m. 30 minutes only no return within one hour very simple and as easy as that Finally, I come to this section here. Shoe zone is very, very good. You can see that I've used my shoes actually from there and uh, very good for bargains. And just here is WH Smith. It looks like it's closed at the moment. Or maybe it's open. Maybe it's an automatic door actually. <laughs> so get ready for the summer. Selected paperbacks, two for £10. Not bad at all. If you can actually see that can you see that or maybe you can't in close-up you can well of course i have to end it on a good note here on this particular note and that that is my catchphrase apparently gone viral but also has gone viral is the show that hopefully never ends and unfortunately it's got to end at this point but it doesn't end just there We've got one more bit to show you. But before we do say that, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you know when we upload a video or do a broadcast in the future. And it really helps support the channel wherever you see us. So also, we are going to show you the other part of the high street at a later stage. But for now, just keep enjoying what you are seeing right now. If you've missed anything, do rewind and uh, yeah, just enjoy what you have seen and uh, make of it what you will so of course i thought i'd leave you with just outside the post office actually it's not very exciting to see is it just that it's a post office and it's the only one in haverhill so let's have a look at one more thing before we go now for those reviews that have slagged the town down it's not often you see a posh hotel here in haverhill it might have changed since the last time you were here but for those people who are familiar with Haverhill, then of course you'll be delighted that you do have at least one decent hotel. Well, it looks decent from where I'm standing here. So there's not always bad things I'm gonna say about Haverhill. It's called the Suffolk Hotel. And downstairs is actually nine jars. Definitely worth checking out. So ladies and gentlemen, that was my beautiful video i hope you all enjoyed on that particular note yeah it's not about me 
thinking it's a wonderful video it's you to make a decision on that one so yeah come and tell us what you think about what you have been seeing here i thought i'd show myself just in front of the st mary's church which is a very ancient church apparently it's quite an eerie church as in spooky that's what we've heard from a lot of people in the area well we know that most churches that um, have different sort of atmospheres like pubs you know we're talking about churches in east anglia or maybe the uk and the world entirely all churches and different venues have different atmospheres and it's interesting to check them all out till next time take care and uh keep smiling won't you like i mean um i haven't got my shades on although it's quite warm out here right now but thank you for watching and until next time hopefully there will be next time for you in the future we'll see you then and remember we hope that the show never ends